hey, hey, don't worry about the fans. If they don't accept what we put out, we'll call them toxic. Be more than human. And welcome back to the channel. My name is Joseph Carroll. I write under the pen name J.R. Carroll. And today is a little bit more serious topic. And I'm a little fired up about I'm a little fired up about it, okay? So this will be one that you want to stay to the end. Um, because I want to know what you think. Um, as you've probably seen on the thumbnail and the title, Hollywood thinks that you, sci-fi fantasy reader, are too stupid to understand what they do. No, your name, Dub Dub. Now this is a, you know, it's gonna be kind of a rant about me talking about adaptations. And I, I don't want anyone to think I'm uh, attacking them because I've been kind of researching by research I mean watching a bunch of videos for months now about this topic and it just so happens that a few people's uh, videos have popped up recently so don't think I'm attacking you on this and if you do think I'm attacking you that says something about you all right so let's jump into this um, we've had a, a, a lot of these Hollywood, you know, elites and Hollywood, you know, writers, um, they think that we are too stupid to understand exactly what goes in to making an adaptation. And one of the things is, I don't know what got it in their head, but they believe that, that the fans, especially fans of sci-fi and fantasy, think that all writing's the same. They, that's what they think. They think we're too stupid to understand that there's a difference between writing a novel, writing comics, writing for screenplays, writing for TV, and writing for movies. It's not the same. You know, they'll hide behind, they'll hide behind the, you're too ignorant to understand what's going on. No, 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 no. We know that there's different types of writing. It's not that hard. You're not that smart for thinking, you know, you're, you're not smarter than us because you live in Hollywood and like, oh, these people, these fans, they must not know the difference, but, you know, that there's any kind of different writing. I'm like, that is the laziest excuse. That's just lazy writing. That you can come up with, you know. And then they think that you know, another another thing I've heard them say is, well, you just don't understand that everybody has a hand in it. Like, when on certain shows, you know, the writers will be the ones because, and we can use The Witcher as an example, a writer who came out of that room said that the writers were shitting on the source material. Fuck. And so we rightfully blame the writers for screwing up that show. Well, then they'll be like, well, you don't understand. You just don't understand that there's the producers have a say. The director has a say. Like, we get that. And we will blame them when it is, the, when it is their doing when we have people come out and say that we're on the set, that it was that person's problem. We, we're not above putting the blame where it belongs. You know, and in that case, it was the writers. It was a writer problem. You know, um, and, and here's the thing. Do not be offended if you are a screenwriter. Do not be offended. To me, if you are adapting a loved, you know, product, you know, a loved novel, a loved video game, as a screenwriter, you are a tool to make 
this thing as close as possible as you can, making it palatable. You know, you are supposed to paint that brush onto the movies or onto a TV show. It's not your job to put any of your own ideas or anything into it. It is to try and do your best to pull that from one entity into another, from from a game into a TV show, from a book to a movie. That is the job. Um, and another thing that they'll they'll hide behind is they'll say, "Well, you don't understand that things have budgets and things cost money." And all you can talk about is money. Who doesn't know that? Who who are you talking to? You're talking to a sci-fi and fantasy fans here, like. We obviously know. If anybody knows, we know. Even even regular people who aren't hardcore fantasy sci-fi people, they know. They can see it on the screen. Like, well, that costs a lot of money. That probably took away. And we'll even say that. Well, we'll be like, well, you didn't pay the actors because there's no known actors. You put it all into CGI or vice versa. Like, oh, the CGI kind of sucked. It's probably because you had to pay this actor so much money. It's not that hard. It's not that complicated. You're not that smart. You, I, I, I feel like it's a lot of times it's like they think they're so smart that we don't know what they know. It's not, it's not that hard. And another thing is they think that we don't understand that things have to be sacrificed. We know this. Like... We we debate about this all the time in fandom. Like if 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 our books, if our favorite books or video games haven't been adapted, we know we're like, I've I've personally had dozens of debates with people about Dresden or Red Rising or anything, and and we'll say that we'll be like, there's no way they're pulling this off live action, and then you'll have other friends who are like, well, that's why it needs to be an anime. Because you could do these things on anime cheaper. Like, we understand stuff has to get sacrificed. And I've always said there's an 80-20 rule. You should keep 80% of the source material intact. For And hardcore fans will, will appreciate that. Like, hey, they gave us 80% on. Right? And then those fans will go out love the show or movie and go and tell the world and be like, you guys got to go see this. This is faithful. This is exactly what we've seen. But that 20%, yeah, you're going to have to change 20% of that to make it palatable for movies and television. And sometimes there's just things that just don't work and descriptions and stuff like that just doesn't work from book to movie. And... We know this. We debate this all the time. Um, and another thing, like they've been bringing up recently, is, well, because because they think writers, screenwriters, are being attacked or whatnot, is like, well, directors have a lot of say now. Like, we know that. We know, especially with a lot of the comic book stuff, Kevin Feige. You know, and, you know, John Favreau and all of them. We know directors are getting huge amounts, you know, Snyder, are getting huge amounts of, you know, say on what goes on in, you know, in the story. And we blame them when it is that, when we know it's them, when it's, when it's been put out there. It happens all the time. You'll see us crapping on the directors when we know the directors are at fault. Thor, Love, and Thunder. Tiko Atiti. Yeah. Yeah, that was you. Um, <laughs> you know, and a lot of times people are like, well, certain things just aren't practical. You don't understand that things aren't practical. Like, de- like I just said, we debate that stuff all the time. We, dis- we debate practicality all the time in sci-fi and fantasy fandom. Like, all the time. We are completely aware certain things are bonkers and they're not going to work. Like, we, we know this, but that's not what's happening 
in a lot of these adaptations that are going bad. They are completely changing characters. They're completely changing the feel of, of the show versus what the feel of the original source material was. You know, and I've heard them even say, like, you know, when we're talking about, oh, man, these, like, what happened to the good shows? And they'll be like, well, look outside of sci-fi and fantasy. And you can still, you can find TV shows that are even better now. But that's not what we're talking about. What? <laughs> Bro, what are you talking about, man? We're talking about sci-fi and fantasy. Like, don't tell me when I'm telling you sci-fi and fantasy shows especially adaptations are mostly horrible right now don't tell me to go and look up a soap opera don't tell me to go and look up a, a you know a navy ncis like i don't care about those that's not what we're talking about we're talking about why sci-fi and fantasy are missing a lot right now you know don't deflect on the other writer yeah yeah we know other shows are good all right but i don't care about the firefighter show okay you know, like, that's not what I'm talking about right now. And it seems like people are getting so offended, like, especially when it's an on-screen thing. Like, in books, eh, you know, we, we have our debates. But it seems like when something goes to television, goes to the movies, and you criticize it, automatically you are toxic. It is the fan's fault. Where did this come from? That all of a sudden, what happened to the customer is always right. I was in management for 10 years. The customer is always right, even when they're wrong. But not in Hollywood. You, as a customer, are always wrong. You are always wrong. Mama's wrong again. Like, I'm getting fired up. Like, I'm trying to, like, try to keep this down. And people always like to bring up, like, what about certain video games? Like, The Witcher 3. You know, The Witcher 3, you know, changed things up from the books and everything. I bought the game my wife bought the game for me but then I went out and read all the books because my friend is like it's basically a sequel it's a spiritual sequel to the game and that's, ex and that's what it is you know and video games are completely different things you go into a video game knowing you are gonna make the decisions you are gonna dictate how the game goes you know, you get to push that character around. You're, you, we're not stupid, and thinking that uh, like that that we're in a novel, that we're running the novel. No, when it's on TV, you are telling the story of what that was. You know, I mean, it just blows my mind that they're like, oh, you don't under like they try to bring like try, they try to get like gotcha with video games. It's like no, so it it's not comparable. It is not comparable, you know. And here's and here's another thing. They'll try to they'll try to they'll try to bump around and they'll try to go. Well, well, you don't understand this. You don't understand that. It's like no. We, and here's where a lot of it stems from. We know when you're just p trying to put political crap into our our books, our the adaptation of books that shouldn't be in there that it's no longer 1937 and we like we know when you are trying to do some screwy stuff and put things in there that's what we're mad about we're not mad we're not mad that you uh you uh you know change the way that the castle looked from the book to to the to the tv show or that you missed with a you know a little bit of the armor it's like no it's when you start it's when you start putting your own political ideology into the show that wasn't there. Like we don't want that crap. We want we we want the books and the games as close as they can be without somebody sticking their own crap into them. You know, and and someone will be like, "Well, all everybody who works on these shows loves you know, most of the people love the source material. Why would they spend years on, you know, working on a show if they didn't like it? Because people do that all the time at jobs. Do you, how many people right now, you watching this, 
how many people do you like is is the job you're in are you lucky enough to be in a job that you just love no you're there to get you're there to cash a paycheck because it's a job that you have or you're good at that job and it makes you money like I would guarantee you that more than half of the writers who are working on any project probably are not that's not they're not madly in love with the project they're like oh I got picked up on this I got picked up on this show I got picked up on this movie and it pays me well and I'm gonna write it you know it's like <laughs> don't try to fool people about why why would anyone stay in a, stay on a project for years because they're getting paid to do so and they're getting paid handsomely most of the time all right guys I'm gonna jump off my soapbox here but I just had to come on and defend my fellow nerds out there let me know what you think did you make it to the end if you did if you enjoyed this let me know in the comments if you would like me to make more things like this make sure you like subscribe check out the patreon and remember be more than human